In this tutorial, you will learn how to encrypt and encrypt data, uh, for example, the string of text using the cryptographic library in Python. Basically, encryption is the process of encoding information in such a way that only authorized parties can access it. It allows us to secure the protect data, which we don't want just anyone to see or access it. So I will be showing you uh, a symmetric encryption, which means that the same key which we will use to encrypt the data, it will be used for the decryption also. The de cryptographic library uh, which I will be using here is built on the top of uh, AES algorithm. And uh, this AES algorithm is basically asymmetric encryption uh, algorithm. And I will be using Python by installing a third party library called cryptography. So, so let's uh, not waste any more time. And first of all, I will activate my virtual environment on the desktop. I have created my Python sandbox. And uh, here I will just go to the virtual environment. and I will activate my virtual environment I am using Python version 3.8.1 after that uh, I will be needing the cryptographic library so I will install the uh, cryptographic library I think it just takes some time I will pause the video for a moment okay so the cryptography library has been installed now I will just um, go to the projects folder and here I will just create a new folder by the name of uh, So uh, it's up to you if you want to create two files, one for encryption and another for decryption. But since this is a simple uh, example, so I will just be using um, a one file, okay? And I will open this folder here in uh, Visual Studio Code here. Let's just go to this open, and I will just open this here. I will create a file here test.py okay now here uh, I will be importing fernet from the cryptography uh, library and I will use the cryptography library and from this I will import the fernet the first thing uh, as I discussed in the start is that since this is the uh, symmetric encryption and we will be requiring only one key over here so I will create a new key here and this key will be generated by this fernet and I will just say generate this key for me okay and once this key is generated you have to store this key somewhere uh, on your system or the server and it's up to you wherever you like to store this key so i will just store this in a secret dot key and i will create a file by the name of secret dot key here and I will just say this key okay so this uh, generate key method will create a key for me 
using this finite library and it will be stored inside this file called secret key okay so the next thing is uh, that we have to execute this only once to generate the key for us so I will just say generate key and once everything is done so I will just say print key is generated okay now I will run this file and as you can see that my key is generated okay and if I go to the folder here so my secret key is generated here and this secret key is this one okay so you have to generate this uh, function only once you don't need to generate this function again and again now the next step is that we have to uh, like um, store this key somewhere safe okay and it's up to you where you would like to store this key the second step is to load the key over here so I will write a function by load key and it's going to just return me this secret key which I have stored somewhere and I will say read this key for me so this load key will open this file secret dot key here and it's going to return the contents of this secret dot key right so now uh, we are done with creating our key now it's time to encrypt a message and in order to encrypt a message what we will do here is we will say that uh, like I will create a function over here by the name of encrypt message and the first thing which I'm gonna do here is I will say load the key for me okay so once the key is loaded right so I'm gonna just store this in an encoded message and the message which will be passed over here right it's gonna be encoded first okay this is the first step once this message is encoded uh, okay once this message is encoded what you have to do is you will pass on the key to the finite library and then the encrypted message would be something like f.encrypt and the encoded message right it's really simple just few lines first you have to load the key second you have to uh, encode the message this is a necessary part then you have to load the uh, the key via this Fernet library and afterward encrypt the encoded message using this uh, this uh, Fernet library and it will be stored in the encrypted message over here right and if you just want to see the encrypted message so you can just check it over here so if I write this function over here, encrypt message, hi, I am Jamal Hussain, okay. And if I run this, you can see that um, I have just got like this function, encrypt message at something like this, okay like it's just totally um, you can say that um, you can't read this message okay so what you should do here is that if um, you want to like um, decrypt this message 
right like let's suppose I, I just want to like return the uh, encrypted message or just first let me verify if uh, the contents of this um, message is correct so if I just return the encrypt message over here right so it's going to uh, return me the what's this called uh, the message okay so here I will just print this out like this and I'll just say and it's the same thing over here which was already displayed okay now it's time to uh, create something like um, a decryption mechanism which will uh, decrypt this message for us so I will say decrypt this message and we'll just pass on the encrypted message the first step is to load the key and then using this Fernet library I will pass on the key okay and then decrypted message would something like f dot decrypt and I'm just I'm just gonna call pass this encrypted message right and I'm just gonna uh, return decrypted uh, so message dot encode sorry decode okay uh, unusable variable encrypted message okay so I have now two functions encrypt message and decrypt message okay so for example if I have to encrypt something I will just write um, encrypt message and and if I run this I will see here sorry I uh, return the function over here I should have returned this encrypted message and this is the encrypted message okay as you can see over here right and for example if I just store this somewhere like um, okay and if I run this again so it's now stored in a variable and if I want to decrypt this so I can say decrypt message and I will just pass this encryption encrypted message okay and then this decrypt okay so I'm just going to clear this and if I run this so as you can see this this part is the encrypted one and this one is uh, decrypted one okay so it's really simple all you have to ins install is this cryptography uh, library then you have to generate the key and afterwards you have to just load this key and then with few lines of code you can encrypt any kind of data and decrypt using python hopefully this has uh, helped you in uh, different applications in python if you have any question please let me know in the comment section and i will answer you there thank you